School Board President Brian Collins, the administration, faculty, and staff. Let me first welcome all of our parents, grandparents, godparents, family and friends watching remotely today. Thank you for your investment in both Bishop Hartley and Catholic education. Your commitment to your children and your support of this school is greatly admired and appreciated. Next, I would like to welcome our faculty and staff, a truly remarkable group of educators whose faith, dedication, scholarship, and lately, especially their grit, have served as role models for our graduates. Finally, welcome class of 2020. I know this celebration would have been better served and certainly more festive with actual hugs and high fives. But life looks different now, at least for the time being. One day, oh, one day you will have a story to tell. But today we are looking forward because the brightest moments are yet to come. Today we begin writing new chapters chapters so deeply rooted in the experiences as Hawks. New chapters of accomplishment, faith, influence, perseverance, chapters of service, spirit, and leadership. So welcome, everyone. And let's begin as we begin everything here at Bishop Hartley in prayer. I welcome Deacon Frank Sullivan to the podium for our invocation. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Let us bow our heads and thank our Lord for his abundant blessings. Heavenly Father, it is with thanksgiving for your many graces and favors that we celebrate this day. As we prepare to celebrate the great solemnity of Pentecost this weekend, we reflect on the words of St. Augustine. A body is composed of many members, and one spirit gives life to all the members. By the human spirit, I join together all my members. I command my members to move. I direct the eye to see, the ears to hear, the tongue to speak, the hand to work, the feet to walk. The duties of each member are different, but one soul joins all together. Many things are commanded, many things done, but one commands and one is obeyed. What our spirit, that is our soul, is to our own members, this the Holy Spirit is to the members of Christ. To the body of Christ, which is the church. 
Oh God, our world is currently anxious and fearful and uncertain. We pray that our graduates are filled with your courage and strength that comes from the Holy Spirit, that they will be a light of hope to their family, friends, and neighbors in this uncertain time. We ask for your gift of wisdom and clear direction for their lives, that you would give them understanding beyond their years. We pray that you would direct their steps, that your plans for them would prosper, that every place you have determined for them to walk would be paid clear. We ask for you to open doors that need to be opened and close every one that should be shut tight. Allow every gift and treasure you have placed inside their lives to grow, develop, flourish, to bring you glory. Father, as the presence of Catholic secondary education on the east side of Columbus, we thank you and we praise you for the honor, dedication, and perseverance you have bestowed on Bishop Hartley High School. We thank you for our families, our teachers, and our staff members alumni and friends of Bishop Hartley, and ask your blessing upon them all. But above all, we thank you for the wonderment, the embrace, the challenge, the searching, the bonding, indeed, the growth in spiritual and human love through the power of the Holy Spirit. Father, please help our graduates to share their knowledge and skills, use them wisely, and find a way to somehow make the world they live in better. May life with its problems be a little easier to face for them. Grant them faith and courage and put purpose in their lives and show them how to serve you in effective ways so that they learn to do your will. And may they be aware that, that in everything they do, that knowledge comes from learning and wisdom comes from you. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Parents, family, staff, teachers, and students, welcome. To start off, I'd like to thank Mr. Winters, Mr. Kowalski, Mr. Jahan, Mrs. Verdi, and all the other coordinators that have helped to make this graduation possible. My fellow 2020 graduates, I'm honored to be able to speak to you all as a class, as a family, one last time. I know this isn't how we imagined our graduation, and we could easily spend this time pondering about the should have been. Our last prom, our last house cup, our last productions, senior nights, our last sports seasons, and our last days. But I'd rather spend the time they have left reflecting on the past and gazing forth onto the broad and beautiful horizons that lie in our future. I didn't start my high school career hardly, but it felt as if I did. I, when I first transferred, I was fearful of what the future held, but that fear soon faded to excitement. Before I could step through the threshold of the front lobby, I was enveloped with unconditional love and support. I had come here looking for an education, but I had never expected to find a home. As a sophomore transfer, I was behind on the social scene. I didn't get the opportunity to have Mrs. Hall for science. I didn't get to enjoy Mr. Fannin's religion. And I didn't have the chance to see Mr. Winters jealous to live. But it didn't matter because you all welcomed me with open arms, making sure that I was not only included, but also supported. Even though I didn't have four years at Hartley, I had the opportunity to share some memorable experiences with you all. I remember how each year we dreamt about moving down in the pit during football and basketball seasons until finally we had earned our spot to leave the school. I remember how we worked hard and played harder for the house system throughout the course of the year, always participating in marquee nights, service hours, member group and house days. We really were a family. I especially remember our house days though. I remember all the planning that staff and students did, and I remember how you all showed absolute determination regardless of the challenge presented. 
And I think I speak for all of us when I say it was an unexpected turn of events this year when Worley went from being our underdogs to our House Cup champions. Worley, even though you didn't get to finish this year, you were the winners. And to my house rosary, go get them again next year. But some of the best days at Hartley were the pep rallies and how we absolutely killed them. And sure, all was nice being the loudest and most bearded class, it was never about who cheered the loudest or if we could win the dress down day. It was a little about the dress down day. It was always about us. It was about how we showed that we could work together to achieve a goal, to make something bigger than ourselves happen. Even if we did get some bruises or stepped on in the process. My fellow peers, I know there are experiences that you've had beyond the ones that I've mentioned that have shaped your high school career. We can never forget the importance of our time together. Besides doing our decades projects and marching while singing Civil War songs with Mr. DeNovo, I remember how he taught us to be servant leaders, how he taught us the virtues of patience, of kindness, and demonstrated what faith in his purest form looked like. Besides kinesthetically teaching us science and referring to us as pilgrims, I remember how Mr. Tremor taught us the values of family, of loving one another, and of the importance of seeking knowledge. Besides telling spooky stories and making five-part exams, I remember how Mr. Kalora taught us that each of us has greatness and purpose in and of ourselves. Besides having fun on Pi Day or finding limits to these wise functions, I remember how Mrs. Castillo taught us how to think, how to overcome challenges, and, how, and she showed us how the world is ours for the taking. Besides teaching us how to write off taxes and the basic, basics on foundational documents, I remember how Mr. Ekin taught us how to genuinely care about other people and how to push our intellect to be the best versions of ourselves. And besides diffusing essential oils and shooting hilarious sarcastic comments, I remember how Mr. Aveles taught us about how much beauty and wonder the world holds, how he taught us about the importance of God, and how he taught us that life is a precious gift. Y.B. Yeats once said, education is not the filling of a pot, but the lighting of a fire. My fellow peers, I know there have been faculty and staff here beyond the ones that I've mentioned that have touched your hearts and made you better people. We can never forget the lessons they taught us and the flames they lit within us. Class of 2020, we may not have been the most athletic class, we might not have been the smartest class, but I can say without a doubt, we were the class with the most heart. Pure drive and even pure ambition. There's no tournament trophy, no house cup, no award, no record that can possibly replace that. We've had the most passion and love for our classmates, for our teachers, and for this institution. And in the face of adversity right now, it's our duty and responsibility to show that same grit, that same drive, that same passion. We can't fall apart at the seams. Like a phoenix, we must rise from the ashes of lost opportunity and shape the broken shards into a beautiful mosaic. There's an old Swedish proverb that says, those who wish to sing always find a song. Class of 2020, our past is our reason to sing and our futures will become the greatest of songs. God, your teachers, your parents, your experiences, and you yourselves have instilled values within you, virtues that will make you great leaders and will bring you to the mountaintops. So while it's important to grieve during this period, and trust me, I understand your grief, we can't let the grief consume us. We are the class of 2020. We are the Bishop Harley Hawks. We've never been the type to fall. For conquerors, we're overcomers, and we leave a legacy behind that keeps the flames of tradition burning furiously bright. We can't hold back and we can't look away. You must face the future head on. And while it's okay to be afraid of the future, it's never okay to run away from it. Everyone speaks about how life isn't about the destination, but about the journey. Graduation was never the destination. Our four years here have only been a brief part of the journey. James Matthew Berry once said, to live would be an awfully big adventure. Our greatest experiences wait for us ahead. We've lived this adventure here but there's so much more in store. I love you, 2020. And although we didn't get all the experiences, we certainly received all the memories. I'd like to leave you with a bit of wisdom that I learned from my all-time favorite movie, Peter Pan. Never say goodbye, because goodbye means going away, and going away means forgetting. I won't say goodbye to you all, because I never want us to forget this. We can never forget our roots, we can never forget our God, and we can never forget our legacy. 
I look forward to seeing you all do great things. authority invested in me as principal of Bishop Hartley High School by the Diocese of Columbus and the Department of Education of the State of Ohio. Mr. Brian Collins, school board president, and I hereby confer diplomas of graduation upon the following students who have successfully completed the requirements established by the Diocese of Columbus and the State Department of Education. Mrs. Gruenwald, the presentation of graduates, please. Jolina G. Abibi. Olaniyi A. Adams Johns. Jemaine Albert. Cosiso Justin Aliazor Anigbo Donald F. Allwine Elise Vivian Amarati Kiran Ricky Lamontre Anderson
Eunice, Boifoi, and Amako. Greta Hensley Bedell. Andrea Rose Bergman. Carter Martin Bjornsson. Christopher Antoine Blewett. Olivia Marie Boback. Faith Maria Bonar. Sylvia W. Broby. Lauren Renee M. Caldwell. Luke C. Carney. Julia Marie Cashwell. Mariah Elizabeth Joyce Kaysen. Sophia Rose Sicletti. Amelia Claire Chen. Kylie Rhea Clark. Sahaya Lashana Clark Lee. Louise Marie Collins. Braden Christopher Craig. Matthew Dale Crawley, Jr. Andrew Croswell. Grace Marie Croswell. Chloe Ann Danko. Kenyon Christopher Davis. Tanisia D. Davis. Taryn Judith Davis Vio. Thomas Everett DeFore. Adam Nicholas DeNovo. Adriana D. Domingue. Helena Mary Elizabeth Donahue. Kaylee Ray Donovan. Kylie Nicole Downey. Dion Drake. Angel George Denor.
Jenna Ann Aramo. Jaden Elizabeth Irwin. Amir Sinke Evans. Angelo Michael Evans. Saran Ewell. James Farrell. Brian Stephen Ferryman. William Henry Fields III. Miles Wesley Fleming. Ariadne Francis. Marley Christina Franklin Calhoun. Caleb Joshua Franz. Madison Ann Frizzell. Megan Ann Gallagher. Christian Ivan Garcia Alvarez. Aaron Deshay M. Gardner. Victoria Ray Gary. Rachel Noel George. Mary Elizabeth Gessner. Sydney Dean Gordon. Evelyn Grajales Chárez. Owen Alexander Griffith. Olivia Francis Hager. Darvin Hall Albert. Samantha Nicole Hansen. Leah Nicole Herbert. Brian Rafael Hernandez. Gino Michael Hoffman. Isabella Catherine Hoffman. Mia Ophelia K. Innes. Andrew Andy Inthevongson. Gabrielle Ann Jackson.
Victor William Jackson. Nacia Tatiana James. Jalen Christopher January. Cameron Michael Johnson. Romha Tafase Kasai. Chad William Kegelmeyer. Bayalese Marzi Kelly. Maxwell Thomas Kerwin. Kylan Mark Cordacrax. Caroline Ivory Leatherman. Anna Grace Jenshaw Lynch. Connor Michael Maciosi. Faith Valinette Matfield. Hope Leone Matfield. Brianna Nicole Maddox. Trinity Joy Maddox. Nathan Allen Mock. Caitlin Waller McCarthy. Griffin James McCauley. Eddie Sean McCollum Jr. Caitlin Rose McComas. Matthew Robert McElligot. Lauren Nicole McFan. Naya Simone McKinley. Alex Afawerki Michael. Dominique Roger Mickel. Pablo A. Morales. Ryan Murphy. Matthew Christopher Nash. Chase Manning Orndorff. Caesar Ortiz. Patrick Nicholas Page. CJ Parnell. Austin Thomas Paulus. Shahari Aliyah Mary Pender.
Joseph Daniel Petrella. Michael Vincent Petrella. Genevieve Francis Feaster. Amelia Avalon Phillips. Noah Akil Pierce. Samara Lenise Pointer. Aiden Elizabeth Palacino. Dion Pollard. Kennedy Lynn Porter. Jovi Reed Prater. Sean Nicholas Price. Valeria Alejandra Ramirez. Emma Elise Ramsey. Abigail Christine Rhodes. Blessing Monet Robinson. Ava Christine Rorenbeck. Caesar Alonzo Rosario. Jordan Taylor Marie Ross. Audrey Aaron Ryan. Asia Salem Ector. Claudia Victoria Salmons. Grace Noel Samler. Chris Sample. Lauren Elizabeth Sauer. Mason Andrew Sawyer. Madison M. Schaffhausen. Amber Marie Shiley. Taryn Kennedy Scott. Jordan Dominique Sharptop. Caitlin A. Sheely. Caroline Michelle Shoemaker. Bradley Bernard Schumann.
Allison Marie Sisson. Micah Jabril Slater. Ava Cecilia Smith. Bailey Lynette Smith. Lenaja Share Nicole Smith. Miles Stanton Smith. Skylar Smith. Danielle Christine Spawn. Emma Marie Steele. Faith Frances Stein. Nicholas Paul Stein. Jason Oliver Stewart. Justin Brian Stewart. Kendall Marie Stewart. Gabrielle Irene Tanner. Reese Madison Taylor. Kevin Rashawn Thomas. Alyssa Ann Thompson. Eric Marquise Thompson. Andrew Michael Trainer, Emily Grace Vallon, Aaron Raymond Vina. Alexis Wade. Jazuri Gakure Waregi. Kaylin Ann Walther. Benjamin Miles Weilbacher. Kaishalyn Malayla Carol Williams. Caroline Kareen Wolfinger. Hello, my fellow classmates, families, teachers, 
and many supporters of the Bishop Hartley community. Thank you for joining me in your living room, kitchen, home office, whatever it may be. Well, class of 2020, I can't believe we're here. I know I've been anticipating this event for years, from watching friends and family members graduate to seeing the festive celebrations and all my favorite cheesy high school movies. I must say, out of all my years of anticipation, I never conjured up a graduation quite like this. As much as I'm tempted to try and crack some jokes about this strange circumstance, about quarantine or about toilet paper, which seems to be a popular source of humor for whatever reason, I feel like that is just not necessary. No amount of humor or optimism can fix our disappointment about this situation. Instead, with whatever small amount of authority I have, I give you all permission to feel however you want about the loss of an in-person graduation. It's okay to feel sad, frustrated, or confused, and trust me, I'm right there with you feeling all those complex emotions. <clears throat> but might I make a small suggestion? Please give yourself the time and space to feel happy, too. Maybe it would help to recall better times or dream of the extensive possibilities for your future. After all, we just gave our four, so let's get excited for our 40. You guys know how the saying goes. To help you remember the good times, of course I'm going to have to take you down memory lane real quick. There are so many great memories that popped up in my head when I was working on this speech, and they gave me some good laughs. I think the first time a lot of us really got to know Hartley and our classmates was in summer gym. Looking back, those couple of weeks kind of feel like a fever dream, from Mr. Cohut going all out in his cricket coaching, to Mr. Green getting fired up over floor hockey, to Mr. Triplett teaching us how to kindle a flame in case we find ourselves at a camping trip gone wrong. All I can say is that summer gym is an experience. <clears throat> then freshman year started, and we tried to get familiar with the incredibly confusing four hallways at our school. Once we finally stopped accidentally locking our locker combination inside our lockers, we were all set, right? We got to know and love each other and all our teachers. We learned what it means to be a hawk 24-7. We found out that some classes would be harder than others and that for us less artistically inclined individuals, we might have to put in more work than we thought to get those credits. And I'm looking right at you, Mr. Gallic. But it's okay because eventually we all got into the groove and found our rhythm for the iconic Stomp Project. Sophomore year rolled around and we finally got to move up to B-Wing, which was fun and all until we realized it can get a little crowded and toasty up there, especially in the last months of school. Personally, I think a highlight of our sophomore year is when Father Vince became the DJ and saved homecoming by playing Mask Off in Bodak Yellow. And of course, we can't forget the great Hartley blackouts of 2018. Junior year was a bit of a tough one. We started to narrow our focus on the future, going on college visits, studying for the ACT, researching all our opportunities, and discerning God's plan for us, all while trying to balance sports, clubs, and jobs. We got serious about who we want to be, realizing that already, half of our high school career had flown by before our eyes. But in classic Hartley fashion, we worked hard and played hard. Let's remember some of the most hilarious moments of house events from Jermaine and Jalen speed skating in socks, slipping and sliding through each lap around the gym floor, to watching some of our favorite football players rock out while wearing pink wigs in the glee competition, to Chris Blewett absolutely demolishing a watermelon in the first ever house tailgate watermelon eating contest. Seriously, if you haven't seen the picture, you should ask Claudia to send it your way. After completing the infamously difficult junior year, we were finally seniors. Smooth sailing from there. This year, school-wide masses and assemblies would be just that much better with a nice view from the floor and our backs so comfortably supported by chairs. We were so excited to enjoy these senior privileges, all the fruits of our labor from these past years at Hartley. Of course, we were robbed of many special senior privileges due to the unfortunate circumstances we've had to face. I won't bother listing them all out because honestly, the wound is still too fresh. I've had certain adults tell me, I'm so sorry about your senior year, but at least you'll have a good story to tell your kids. I can't say that makes me feel a whole lot better, but I've been thinking about that recently. What exactly is the story I'll tell my kids? I'm sure that all the chaos of coronavirus will make it into that tale, but more than that, I want to share those seemingly insignificant high school experiences. I want to tell them how I lost my voice at pep rallies, 
yelling the chants of Urban Hartley or V-I-C-T-O-R-Y. I want to tell them about my favorite teachers who have inspired me and kept me afloat. I want to tell them about the success and failures I encountered, encountered with my teams and the times I cheered on my friends at big tournament games and drama performances and senior nights. I want to tell them how I got close with classmates whom I never expected to at Kairos. I want to tell them about the fun, the spirit, the struggle, the prayer, and all the wonderful things that made up my time here at Hartley. And so, to the class of 2020, I hope you're starting to think of the story you'll tell your kids in the future. Tell them of the moments that define high school for you. Remember that these moments will never be lost. This bittersweet end to high school does not eliminate the adventure we've all shared as Hawks. In the end, no parent, teacher, stranger, nor virus gets to tell us what graduating as the class of 2020 is all about. We are the ones who have mapped out the road, and we sure made it one incredible ride. We would be remiss not to acknowledge our parents, grandparents, siblings, and other special family members who have made this all possible. Let's thank them for their sacrifice, support, and love. Let's also extend some gratitude to our amazing teachers and faculty at Hartley who have walked beside us through the entire journey. Thank you for believing in us, for sharing your wisdom, and for pushing us to reach our full potential. Class of 2020, I, along with our teachers and family members, am so proud of your accomplishments and cannot wait to witness the incredible lives you will live from this day forward. Congratulations, everyone. May the Lord bless you, protect you, and keep you safe this quarantine and through all your future endeavors. And one last time, go Hawks. Congratulations, friends, on your graduation from Bishop Hartley. You have so much to be proud of for your accomplishments over the past four years. As you reflect on your journeys, I want to remind you of St. Paul's words that he shares in the letter to Philippians. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Rely on your faith through all the ups and downs you will encounter ahead, and you surround yourself with people who will enrich your development in becoming the best version of yourself. Once again, congratulations on your last four. And may the Lord bless you, protect you, and keep you safe over the next 40 plus. Hi, I just wanted to thank my seniors who volunteered their time to work in the office with me this year. Your help was greatly appreciated. And I also wanted to say to the graduates of 2020, congratulations, good luck, and take care and please come back and visit. We will miss you. Class of 2020 Hartley Hawks, I want to congratulate you and what a great celebration of the end of your journey here at Bishop Hartley High School. I want to thank you and let you know how much all of us who have ever come in contact with you appreciate all you've done and all you've given to Bishop Hartley High School. You've made a difference and my sincere hope and prayer is that you're always proud of the difference you made at Bishop Hartley High School, that you will always return you always keep Bishop Hartley and the lessons that you learned uh, deep within your heart, and you'll live them. As we all know, a story well told is a story that's going to be told forever, and you just began some of the early chapters of your story, and it's going to be a great tale that you take with you forever. So God bless you. We love you. Go Hawks. Go 2020. To the class of 2020, what a wild ride it has been. From the successes that you've had, in the classroom, through the house system, on the courts and the fields, and in the pit especially, and also on the stages. It has been such a joy and pleasure to see you all grow these last four years into the young men and women that you are today. You're going to do amazing things, and if you share the same enthusiasm that you had at every single pep rally, winning the first ever Golden Hawk Award, that enthusiasm is going to carry you so far. So go forward and be enthusiastic about your jobs, about your daily life, and know that we are praying for you and thinking, for you, thinking of you. We love you. You're always Hawks. And please come back and visit. Congratulations. Class of 2020, you did it. Perseverance, grit, determination, and drive. I think it's safe to say you've mastered those qualities. I want to add purpose to that list, not as one that you've mastered, but as something you'll continue throughout your life. You are a child of God. He has created you with a purpose in mind. 
you are here for a reason. To those seniors in my part of the alphabet, Aggie Nation, you're a great group of people. You're going to be missed, but you're going to do wonderful things. And finally, I want to give a special shout out to Caleb. Words cannot express how proud we are of the man you're becoming. Thank you for being a son every parent hopes for. Class of 2020, thank you for all you've done for our school and our community. I'd like to thank the administration, faculty, and staff for all your hard work, dedication, and compassion you've given to our students. Hi fellow alumni, Bishop Hartley Hawks. Welcome to the family. Um, I'm so proud of your class and how much you've accomplished in just three quarters of the time. When I was asked to speak to you guys, um, I thought about what to say, and what comes back to me most is our time that we spent on retreat this year, especially at Kairos. And as I was thinking about our retreat, I was thinking about the theme of each of our four days. Doubt the first, cry the second, trust the third, and live the fourth. And I thought, wow, that doesn't apply just to those four days of Kairos, but really to our time now and what's to happen to you in the future. Right now, maybe we're experiencing some time of doubt. Maybe some tears have been shed. But just remember, as we went through the process on retreat, you're going through a process right now. And so as we move from the second day into the third and the fourth, there's time to take hope and have courage. Because on the third day, we're asked to trust. Not just trust each other, but mostly trust in God. And that God's plan is bigger than our own. And so I think that as we move forward and you are trusting, it allows you to open yourselves up to really live the fourth. And as you're graduating now, seniors, and moving on to a new chapter in your lives, it's time for you to truly live. Live the path that God has chosen for you. Be the person God has designed you to be. And remember that at the heart of it all, we're all children of God, and everyone has their own story to tell. So go out there and tell your story, class of 2020, and the best of luck to all of you. Thank you. Bishop Hartley, class of 2020. Over the past four years, you've endured the normal challenges of high school, and then some. We applaud your resilience. I'd like to share some advice that can be helpful in times like this and also in the future. There will be times in life when things don't go according to plan. It's inevitable. During these times, try not to focus on the things that have been lost or never gained. Instead, focus on what you've been given. And you've been given so much. You've been given a family who loves you and supported you as you navigated the confusing and exciting years of childhood and adolescence. You've been given an opportunity to attend great schools where you've made friends and mentors who will stick with you for a lifetime. You've been given, here at Hartley, you've been given many opportunities to grow in your faith, learning to walk closely with Christ. And you've also been given the opportunity to, to grow and to learn in a safe place where you develop the skills and the character that will propel you into the future. And now, from your hard work, you've been given the freedom to choose the path that you will take in life. Former Bishop Hartley student Juan Durano once said, the best is yet to come. And that is true for you. And it's true for all of us who are part of the family of God. As you lead Bishop Hartley, please know that you are loved. You will always be part of the Hartley family. We'll be watching, eyeing your achievements, rooting you on silently. May God continue to bless you and guide you in the days ahead. Go Hawks. Hello, class of 2020. I feel honored and blessed to have known you during your high school career. You wonderful people have taught me so much. In our weeks, of remote learning, you have taught me to be brave. I say this because you have shown strength in the face of fear and difficulty, and this is bravery. So be proud, stand tall, and take a deep breath as you move forward. Your next adventure awaits. Until we meet again, graduates. Class of 2020, congratulations, uh, you finally made it. Um, what I wanted to tell you first was just um, thank you, because seeing your smiling faces, seeing how you treat each other, I see a bright future. It gives me hope, and it's a big reason why I come to work every single day, year after year. I wanted to give a little bit of advice for your futures, and it comes from a guy named John O'Leary. 
um, a burn survivor um, who, when he was nine years old, he tried to um, light some gasoline. The gas can exploded, threw him across his garage. He's sitting there in the hospital um, dying, and he, he says, Mom, am I going to die? And he was looking for comfort. She gave him truth, and she said, John, do you want to die? And he said, no, Mom, I want to live. And she said, then you take the hand of Jesus Christ. You walk with him every step of the way, and you fight like you never fought before. And that's my advice to you in the future. When you're going through this current fight we have right now, and the fight that you have in life is take the hand of Jesus Christ, walk with him step by step, day after day, and fight like you never fought before. And I promise you, you'll do something amazing with your life. Congratulations, class of 2020. Class of 2020, I want to welcome you as our fellow alumni and I wanted to thank you on behalf of the many alumni that came before you. Many, some were your parents, your brothers, your sisters, your cousins, your aunts, and your uncles. But we want to thank you for continuing the excellence of the school. And I have one simple message that I've said for many years when I've been here teaching is, it is your responsibility now to take care of each other. To take care of each other. The 4 for 40, we always talk about what the 40 means of. Is it... I'm going to get a job for the next 40 years, but really in my eyes, what I see the 40 means is that you are taking care of each other. Those relationships you've built are important. So remember that as you move forward. God bless you and go Hawks. Congratulations on your graduation, class of 2020. I know at times this day seems so far away or even out of reach, and yet you made it. You overcame the difficult projects, the long papers, the mind-numbing tests. And yet, God still had one last obstacle for you all to overcome. You grew from this experience, too, and you are stronger individuals and a stronger class because of it. Life is full of twists and turns, never turning out exactly how we envision. But the skills, the knowledge, and the faith that you've acquired these past four years can help you overcome any challenges that life throws your way. You all have bright futures ahead of you, and I cannot wait to see all your amazing accomplishments. I'm so proud of you. God bless you. Ladies and gentlemen, there is nothing I get more fired up for than teaching you. There is nothing I find more fulfilling than teaching you. I hold no greater blessing than the blessing to teach you. With that being said, thank you for the fire. Thank you for the fulfillment. And thank you for the blessing. It's been my honor, ladies and gentlemen, to teach you. Thank you. Class of 2020. They say, make a plan, and God laughs. We planned a fantastic fourth quarter for you, and God laughed. He was overjoyed at your ability to take on this challenge for one another and for the sake of a much larger community than you may have imagined serving. Thank you for your service, for your commitment to making the most of this challenge. You all carry the joy of God with you every day. You brought it to my classroom to retreat, to your families and to your friends in the halls of Hartley. You may not have realized you were doing it, but your very presence is the presence of God's Spirit to those around you. God's Spirit and your great effort will take you everywhere you'd like to go, with the help of books and reading, of course. As Dr. Seuss wrote, the more you read, the more things you will know, the more you learn, the more places you'll go. You've read a lot and learned a lot. You've seen God in one another. We couldn't have asked you for more. Thank you for bringing God's spirit to your Bishop Hartley family. Hello, seniors. Congratulations. I just have a few moments, but I'd like to share how grateful I am to all of you for inviting me to be your religion teacher this year. I sincerely appreciate getting to know all of you. As you have worked very hard, you should feel confident about what lies ahead next year. Wherever you may be, or whatever it is you may be doing, I know you're going to do very well. Also, please know that my prayer for you has always been, and always will be, that the Spirit remain with you and continue to transform you by the science of its love and wisdom. God bless you always. Graduates, my fellow alumni, I wish you nothing but the best life has to offer. And I'd like to leave you with the words I left my own classmates with many years ago. May the road rise up to meet you. May the wind be always at your back. May the sun shine warm upon your face and the rains fall soft upon your fields. And until we meet again, may God hold you in the palm of his hand. Be smart. Be safe. God bless. 
Dear class of 2020, what I desire to impart to my son, Adam, is the same message that I want to convey to each of you. As he is in my heart right now, so too are you. I invite you to recall something I told many of you during your freshman year. Each day, God gives you an opportunity to write and rewrite your resume. While the plans and projects you will pursue will be exciting and no doubt great, never forget that how you treat and show love to others will speak more than anything you put down on paper. This is what people will remember about you. A small gesture made with love can be more meaningful and impactful than what you know and what you accomplish in your future careers. Remember who you are and who you belong to. You belong to Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. With him and Mary, the mother of God at your side, you cannot fail. I pray that you will invite them to be a part of your journey and that they keep you ever close to their sacred and immaculate hearts. I love you always. Dear friends in the class of 2020, I want to offer you my sincerest congratulations on this, your graduation day. This being my first year, you are the first senior class that I had the chance to encounter throughout the whole of an academic year, or at least a good part of it. I am so, so very proud of you. It's been a great chance for me to catch you at some of your games and your accomplishments, your plays and your musicals, to hear from so many of you in honest dialogue, your service to your schools, to the church, and to the local community is impressive. And I've seen the leadership qualities of so many of you in your schools, in your parishes, and at so many diocesan events, as well as through retreats like Kairos. Your laughter is contagious, your energy is inspiring, and I am so impressed at seeing you come together in faith, hope, and love to support one another in moments of tragedy. I know that you have been referring to Pope Francis's apostolic exhortation to the youth, Christus Vivit, throughout the academic year, and I thank you for that. What a great moment that Pope Francis took the time to write to the young people, to you. And I know that one of the great lines in his letter was, you are not only the future of the church, you are the now of the church. Well, indeed, you show that to be true in so many ways. You have been and continue to be the now of the church, setting us on fire in so many ways. Now, I know that this isn't what you envisioned for graduation, and quite frankly, the loss of these last weeks is more than disappointing. I'm sorry for that, really. As a matter of fact, I had really looked forward to our being together with you as the whole senior class of all of the schools in March, and that was one of the first things to be canceled, and yet, I had hoped too to get to your schools throughout these last weeks. I know it's usually an exciting time. But I am happy that we can be together in some fashion today on a day so, so very important. And I thank you for this chance to say a word to you. Often, I will speak of the Catholic school experience as a partnership. In some ways, that is obvious. You, yourselves, your teachers, the administrators in your school, the coaches, and all the people who staff the school. 
you form a partnership. But also that circle of a partnership goes much wider. The diocesan staff, your pa- and I include myself there, your parishes, your pastors, and even the local communities. It takes a lot at so many levels. Why is it that so many are invested in Catholic high schools in particular, especially here in central Ohio? Truth is, it's because we believe in you. Really, we believe in you. We believe in you and we want you to have the chance to reach your best potential, to be who God created you to be and to do, and to see what God sees and loves in you, and to know that you're never, ever alone. And you know, today you prove that belief in you to be well-founded. Congratulations. It's my hope, all of our hope really, that you have encountered God who loves you during your years here. I hope that you've come to know Jesus as a friend, a friend and a support, and that you will continue in that friendship with him. For those who do not share the Catholic faith, I want to thank you for sharing life with us these years, and I hope that you've come to know the church, what we believe, why we believe, and the source of our hope, and that we might walk together in mutual respect. For most of you who are are Catholic, I hope you know how much you are loved, and that you might recognize the good that God sees in you. You see, all of us who serve you in our Catholic schools are indeed ambassadors of Christ, as St. Paul says. And behind everything that we do to provide a top-notch education, we do it with love for God and for you. Yes, you have proven our hopes in you to be very, very well-founded. Going back to Christus Vivit, Pope Francis reminds us that young people can offer the church the beauty of youth by renewing her ability to rejoice with new beginnings, to give unreservedly of herself, to be renewed, and to set out for even greater accomplishments. On the one hand, that's what graduation is all about. To re- be re- rejoice in new beginnings and to set out for even greater accomplishments. But you know what? For sure, the church, especially right here in central Ohio, we are at the threshold of some new beginnings for sure. And I count on you. I count on you, on your help, and on your inspiration. Please know as you go forth, you go with our support and love. I certainly hope our paths continue to cross and to, I hope that we will find ourselves working together in the exciting work of building up the world as ambassadors for Christ. Congratulations and God bless you. Let me conclude this celebration on a personal note. The academic, artistic, and athletic accomplishments of this class are many, and I'm very proud of you for possessing those talents. But I'm also proud of the class of 2020 because you have honored our pillars of faith, preparation, community, service, spirit, and leadership. You have honored our pillars like the many graduating classes that have come before you. But I'm most proud of you because unlike any class that I can remember, you have served as an example for all future graduating classes, an example of grace, grit, 
and resilience. This truly is a class of special men and women. You have been led by peers with diverse talents and interests, but who had one thing in common, a love for their school. I appreciate all of you who have served as official and unofficial ambassadors for the school. You truly are our best sales men and sales women. We thank the house leadership for being the embodiment of our pillars. Committed to their faith, diligent in academic preparation, builders of community, ready to serve others with a spirit that exemplifies the light of the gospel as leaders, who are truly men and women in Christ. We especially thank our school captains for their dedication and commitment. Kieran Anderson from St. Mary's of the Spring, Anna Lynch from Rosary, Mason Sawyer, Aquinas, Gabby Jackson, Sacred Heart, Ellie Tanner, Our Lady of Victory, and last but not least, Patty Page from Worley, whose house won the cup this year, so congratulations. We also want to offer congratulations to salutatorian Sophia Seglati, Sydney Gordon, Gino Hoffman, and Lauren McFan, and valedictorians Elise Amirati, Olivia Hager, Genevieve Feaster, and Ellie Tanner. I also want to publicly honor those graduates enlisting into the branch of the military service. Jermaine Albert, United States National Guard, Christian Garcia, United States Air Force, Brian Hernandez, United States Marine Corps, Cameron Johnson, United States Navy, Faith Matfield, United States Navy, Noah Pierce, United States Navy, and Allison Sisson, United States Navy Reserves. Good luck to you seven as you embark on this noble endeavor. So congratulations to the young men and women of the class of 2020. I know you are well prepared academically for the next phase of your lives. $18.86 million in scholarship speaks to that. By the way, that $18.86 million in scholarship is the new record for Bishop Hartley beating the class of 2018. So congratulations, $18.86 million in academic scholarships. But more importantly, I'm also confident that you are well prepared to take your place in the world as Catholic and Christian citizens. The lessons and values you have learned at Bishop Hartley are so well rooted that you are truly prepared to live every day as Christ for one another. You will always be a Hartley Hawk. We love you and we miss you. We've missed you especially these last few weeks. But always remember that Hartley is your home, and we look forward to you coming back in the weeks and months and years to come. And we look particularly forward to a time when we can celebrate in person. This sign with every graduate's name on it will hang in a place of prominence, not because you were the COVID class of 2020, but because this class showed so much grit and resilience, this will hang in a place of prominence forever in Bishop Hartley High School. As is our tradition, we began in prayer and we will conclude in prayer. So please bow your heads. Let us first ask the Blessed Virgin Mary to intercede on our behalf for health, success, and happiness. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. God of love, you are with us in every transition and change. As we enter into this new era with excitement and even some anxiety, we recall your deep compassion, presence, and abounding love. 
We thank you for the experience that have brought us to this moment. We thank you for the work of others that gives breath and depth to our own work. Be with us as we move forward, rejoicing with you and supporting one another. And as we conclude this 60th commencement, we pray for the last time together. May the sacred heart of Jesus be adored, glorified, loved and preserved throughout the world now and forever. And may, this, and may the Lord bless you, protect you, and keep you safe today and all future days. We ask this in your name, O Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now, the singing of our alma mater. See the hawks fly, heights unbounded. See the red and blue above. Hardly voices join to honor and to praise the school we love. May she ever walk in glory, valiant and brave and true. As above each shield of stripes waves rally her red and blue, sing praise to Bishop Hardy High, send cheers of heights to sever, proudly proclaim her honored name, resound her glory.